hi and welcome to this DBC video. I am Rasmus. Today I'm going to show you how to use shapefiles in DBC. In front of us now is a map of the Aegean Sea and I've plotted in a ferry route going from Izmir in Turkey through the Aegean Sea over to Athens in Greece. This ferry is making noise and there are a couple of proposed marine protected areas along its path. Notably, it's going to make some noise because it's going through this MPA and it's going quite close to this other MPA over here, close to Turkey. For investigating this sort of impact, it's useful to import these areas into DBC. So this is the equivalent map in DBC and I have already plotted in the ferry route. Also, I wish to have the shape files that are the MPAs. They are now showing up in yellow. Now I have already solved this because it would take a while if you were to wait. So these are all the sound levels from the, from the ferry that we expect during its crossing. It's hard to use all these levels to make some sort of impact estimate. So often you would define some sort of threshold that I am using 80 dB because I want some overlap. So everything outside or inside the 80 dB zone is going to experience more than 80 dB and everything outside is going to experience less. I'm going to call that an exclusion zone. You can set that in DBC and I have done that. So the red line here is that exclusion zone. It's an 80 dB line that shows you where you would expect 80 dB to be. We can see over by Athens there's a good overlap between the exclusion zone and the and the marine protected area. And I might wish to find out what is that area of overlap. And I can do that by exporting this exclusion zone. Pressing export and choosing either the ESRI ASCII grid format or a shapefile format for my export, whatever I prefer for my GIS software. So back to my GIS software. This is what the exclusion zone looks like in my GIS software. And we can see we have a little bit of overlap with the islands, with the area outside of Turkey, and a good bit of overlap over here by Athens. And I can now use the power of my GIS software to calculate this overlap and get on with the impact assessment. That's all for now, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will make more later, and hope you'll be watching. Goodbye.